Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, finally getting around to getting this video out. Uh, this is the recap from last weekend at uh, Hubbard Creek Lake for the uh, Texas Bass Nation final two events of the Northwest region. Um, as y'all know, Hubbard Creek and me have not gotten along over the years. So to be able to, to have a good finish Sunday, um, was very good for my psyche because me and that lake just for some reason we don't drive uh but anyway um hadn't been there in like 10 years or something i got down thursday night and i got to pre-fish friday um it was bright high sunny skies and no wind uh started off first thing in the morning found a shad spawn um and absolutely you know y'all know how shad spawn goes just beat on them um of course, these were, this and the vibrating jig were my baits of choice. Uh, that lasted about an hour in the morning, an hour and a half. And then after that, it got dang tough. Um, so I went offshore, started looking around. Obviously didn't get near as many bites offshore, but I did catch a couple better quality fish. So my game plan uh, going into Saturday was try to get a limit off the shad spawn and then go out and spend all day offshore, uh, try to catch big ones. So Saturday morning, the wind was blowing like 20 and it was cloudy. And we started at 6.30. Uh, I went to, I was running down the lake and just looked over and saw a spot that I never even fished in practice. And it looked right. And so I shut down, ran over there and sure enough, shad spawn was on. Um, and I had a limit at 7.05. And of course it was windy. It was on a, on a windy point uh, or a windy stretch leading up to a point. And with it being windy, um, I couldn't throw the top water. So I was throwing the Brian's custom jigs, um, the old Ivy special. And um, I'm gonna try to do, I got some footage. I'm gonna try to get it all put together tonight as well, but absolutely smashed them on this thing um that morning with it being windy uh and then i made a bad decision and i went offshore uh well as soon as i went offshore the very first spot i stopped on like my third cast i was deep cranking and i caught a, a little better keeper than i had and i cold um and then i ended up staying offshore the rest of the day which proved to be a bad decision i had like 8 35 or something saturday and finished i don't know towards the bottom of the pack it was not good um those offshore fish uh i figured they were committed they were not they obviously just got out there or they were out there because of the conditions on friday um so sunday i decided i was gonna stay shallow we were supposed to be cloudy um we didn't have hardly any wind at all so instead of the blade, I was throwing the heckler and guys, <laughs> it was just dumb. I don't know how many fish I caught. Um, it took me a little longer to get a limit. Uh, they weren't quite as stacked up um, as they were Saturday with no wind, had them a little more spread out. So I still had a limit by like eight o'clock. Um, but as you can see, the paint is just, chewed off of this thing i mean i caught i don't know how many 40 50 fish um and then we started getting a little wind in the afternoon so i went back to the blade and cold i don't know how many times um a bunch but just gaining a little here and there i had ended up with 15 uh 15 18 no 15 33 uh, I had a 618 big fish, which I caught on a different bait. Um, it was when it got slick, um, which y'all will be able to see that in the video. Uh, it was the only fish I think I caught on that bait all weekend. Um, but anyway, as you can see, this blade too, this was a brand new spinner bait. And the paint is just about gone off of it. Um, I mean, absolutely busted on them. A lot of numbers. Um, but I ended up second Sunday, so finally a, a solid finish uh, at Hubbard Creek. 
um but that's my tournament recap guys um i put the as you can see that trailer's chewed all up um i used the twin tail uh because of the shad spawn um they were eating it a little better i normally have the shad nasty back here but i needed something with a little smaller and a little more aggressive uh or a little uh more subtle uh action to it um because y'all know the shad spawn lots of lots of little tiny things up there and they don't that big profile uh though it didn't seem to be, get bit as good um however they would not well they were eating the fire out of the vibrating jig but there's a lot of white bass up there eating those shad and the wipes were just wearing me out so i, I put that through the blade um i was getting a little better quality bites with it um and the and the heckler versus the uh the vibrating jig and it kept the watts um somewhat at bay they were still knocking the fire out of the baits but it uh i wasn't catching as many of them and i was able to get through them and get get to the better quality fish so uh that's my tournament recap guys um fixing ahead to kids camp for two weeks uh i'll be at lake amistad um and I'll have some videos and some content for you guys coming up. But uh, that's the Hubbard recap. Basically, there it is. And uh, we'll holler at you guys later.